Well, hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. Now, today I've got a tag for you for Tuesday. I'm going to be doing the authors I've read the most books by tag, and I was tagged uh, by Summer at Cozy Reading with Quaker Cats. Thank you so much for tagging me. Uh, I appreciate it. All of you, all of you folks out there, you should all be watching Cozy Reading with Quaker Cats. It's a fantastic booktube channel. Uh, this uh, this tag uh, was created by the brilliant and talented Jeremy Fee. So this is the authors I've read the most books by. Uh, it's a kind of a top ten list kind of thing. Uh, I'll go down the list by how many books uh, I've read from these authors. I was a little worried at first when I got tagged in this because uh, I don't. A lot of my favorite authors have not re have not written a ton. Um, like H.P. Lovecraft, for example, uh, depending on how, how you split up uh, his output, it could be one book, big book or three or four uh, smaller books. Uh, and a lot of authors that I, I really like are like that. They haven't been super prolific. But sure enough, there are some authors I've, I've read that I've, I've read an awful lot from, as it turns out. So, I'm uh, going to go 10 to 1, as we do in these lists. So, number 10 of the authors I've read the most books by. Uh, this one, uh, this author clocks in at 13 books that I've read uh, by this author. And that would be brilliant uh, detective story writer Ross MacDonald. Uh, this is one of the volumes of, his, uh, of the fantastic Library of America editions of his work. I've read every uh, novel in these in these books there are three of them and they're all fantastic yeah i highly recommend this author and i highly recommend uh this set of books uh ross uh, mcdonald just a great great uh detective story writer one of the best uh detective story writers who's ever lived i mean his his novels uh as you can tell uh, from the fact that they are in the Library of America, are of exceedingly high quality. Uh, just fantastic books. Uh, brilliantly conceived, brilliantly written. Uh, just some of the best detective fiction uh, you'll ever read uh, is from this guy, uh, Ross MacDonald. Fantastic stuff. So, like I've said, I've read 13 books so far from him. I plan on reading uh, quite a bit more. So that's number 10. Number 9, clocking in at 14 books, would be this guy, brilliant Western writer T.V. Olson. This is one of his deathless classics, Eye of the Wolf, uh, which, of course, I've read. Uh, I've read a relatively small amount of his output, I believe. Uh, so 14 books I've read uh, by this guy, T.V. Olson. And his westerns are pretty darn good, let me tell you. So that brings me to number eight. Clocking in at 15 books read would be Luke Short, another western writer. What can I say? I like westerns. Uh, and, and we've got a couple of really 1970s looking westerns on the western guys on the cover there. I like, I like Luke, Luke Short's books. I've got a bunch lying around. And apparently I have read 15 of them. So, Luke Short. Now, number seven is a little tricky because uh, this author has written mostly short fiction that has been collected in different books and it's all kind of, some stories are in this book, some are in there, and there's all kind of, it's all over the place. So it's kind of hard to tell how many books I've actually read from this guy. Uh, but he is one of my very favorite writers. Uh, from what I can tell, depending on how you split up uh, his books. He's, he's, I've read anywhere from 15 to 17 books. That's my estimation uh, from this author. And that author would be the, the amazing, incredible Robert E. Howard, creator of Conan the Barbarian, Bran MacMorn, King Cull, Solomon Kane, and so many other uh, wonderful characters. It just so happened that he also wrote some westerns. And I, like I said, I've read approximately 15 to 17 books, depending on how you split them up, uh, from this guy, Robert E. Howard. And this is uh, The Last Ride, a collection of his 
Western stories. Really good writer, Robert E. Howard. He was the greatest pulp writer of all time. I did a whole video just on Robert E. Howard, and it was fantastic, just like all my videos are. Uh, so I'll, I'll, if I remember, I'll link that down below if you're interested. So yeah, Robert E. Howard. That was number seven, so that gets us to number six. This, uh, this author I read 22 books from, and that would be Lester Dent, uh, who wrote under the uh, house name Kenneth Robeson when he wrote his Doc Savage Adventures, uh, which apparently uh, I counted, I have read 22 of them, only a small percentage of what he wrote. Many, many Doc Savage Adventures I have yet to read, and of course I look forward to it because I love Doc Savage. He was the, uh, the ultimate early pulp hero and uh, the predecessor of all these superheroes that came after him. Uh, many superheroes stole an awful lot from good old Doc Savage. I will be doing a video on Doc Savage probably in the near future. I don't know exactly when, but sometime probably within the next couple weeks. Probably. So yeah, Lester Dent, Doc Savage. All right, so the next author clocks in at 24 books that I've read from this guy. And that would be Louis L'Amour, the king of the Western. Yeah, I've, I've, I've read a few Westerns in my life. That's true. This would be one of them that I've read uh, from this guy. Again, just a small percentage of what he wrote. Uh, he wrote an awful lot of books, this guy. This guy wrote a book every other day, I think. Uh, and when I was a kid uh, and a young man, this guy's books were like everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Uh, and so, yeah, he, he was a pretty decent, uh, action-y type of writer, uh, not perfect. Uh, he would sometimes forget his own plot points, sometimes forget how many characters he had. You know, this guy wrote fast, what can I say? But he's a fun writer. I like him an awful lot. Louis L'Amour. Uh, I read 24 books by this fella, which brings me to the next writer who is awful good. I've read 25 books from this guy and hope to read many more in the future. That would be Joe R. Lansdale, uh, the creator of the Happen Leonard novels and so many other just great, great novels. Wrote a lot of crime fiction, wrote some horror fiction, wrote some just general fiction. Really, really great writer. Here he is. That's the man himself, Joe Lansdale. Now, if you haven't read this guy, you need to read this guy. I'm serious. Joe Lansdale is fantastic. So, uh, 25 books read by Joe R. Lansdale. I hope to read many more in the future. <clears throat> so that brings us, uh, we're at number three now. Number three, uh, I have read 26 from this one. Again, this author wrote an awful, awful, awful lot. I've only read a teensy bit of what he wrote. That would be Walter B. Gibson, better known as Maxwell Grant, the author of The Shadow Adventures. The Shadow. Yes, The Shadow, uh, the great radio hero, was also a fantastic uh, pulp hero from back in the day. And I've read, an, I've read apparently, 26 of Sh The Shadow's Adventures. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to read many, many more in the future. Uh, Going to be doing a video on the shadow soon too, soonish. I'm trying to get to the uh, great pulp heroes uh, as well as, as some of the uh, newer stuff that I'm going to be doing. But yeah, the shadow, Walter B. Gibson, great, great pulpy, pulpy, pulpy stuff. So there we go. He comes in at number three. Now number two, I've read 45 books from this author which isn't many when you consider how many he's written and how many I have yet to get to. Uh, and that would be Stephen King. This guy wrote a lot. <laughs> he's written an awful lot of books and I've only read 45 of them. Uh, you know, he's, he's one of those authors that if you've seen my Stephen King video, which was brilliant, like all my videos, I'll link it down below if I remember. Um, 
you know, he's, his qual the quality of his work has kind of gone up and down. And at some point, I kind of gave up on, on reading new works from him. But then I kind of would come back now and again. I've really got to, I've really got to give this guy another chance and read more of his books that I have not read. And I'm probably going to be rereading some of his books that I have read because it's been an awful long time since I've read them. I think I read Christine, for example, in the 80s. When did that book come out? I think it was early 80s. I think that's about when I read it. Uh, so there are a lot of books I've read a long, long time ago, and I would like to give them another look. Uh, this, of course, is his most fantastic book, the perfect horror novel, in my opinion, as I've said on numerous occasions. So that's number two, Stephen King at 45 books. Okay, let's me, let me make sure I don't have all my books fall down. So that brings me to number one, the, uh, the author I've read the most books by. And I have read 72 uh, books from this author. 72 of them. Uh, and that would be Edgar Rice Burroughs, the creator of Tarzan, the Mars series, the Venus series, the Inner World, Pellucidor series, uh, the Apache novels, uh, just so much, so much fiction this guy wrote. I mean, it, his, he was a, he was a pulp writer. His, his stuff flew off the typewriter, uh, and, and he wrote a lot, and I've read just about all of it, I think. Uh, so yeah, I counted. I've read 72 books from Edgar Rice Burroughs, one of my favorite authors, I must admit. Uh, I've already done a video on his Mars books. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, a video at some point on his Tarzan series. I'll be doing a video on his uh, inner world novels, his Venus novels, all that stuff. I will get to it. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> classic adventure writer, uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs, 72 books. That's, that's more than I thought I read from this guy, but yeah, apparently I've read quite a few. Yeah, so a lot of books there that I've read from those guys. Uh, and uh, I guess uh, now is the time when I have to tag people. Now, this tag has been out for a little while now. Uh, and so I don't know who's been tagged and who has not been tagged. Uh, so I'm gonna throw out a couple people here and you know, do it if you want to, don't do it if you don't want to. You've, if you've already been tagged, cool, you've been tagged by more than one person now. Uh, so I'm going to go with Revenant Reads because I would be really interested uh, in seeing that video. Uh, so if you feel like doing it, uh, that would be great. Uh, so Revenant Reads, I'm gonna tag, and I'm also going to tag uh, Raul Reads. Uh, Raul Reads has a fantastic channel, uh, and this guy, he reads approximately, I think, around 90 books an hour. Uh, he, he reads kind of quick, this guy. Uh, and I would be interested uh, to see if he's read a lot from like one author or not. Uh, so yeah, there we go. There are the tags. Uh, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. Uh, I will probably have another video out tomorrow or the next day. You know, when I, when I first started this book to booktube channel, which was only, I guess, a little over a month ago. Uh, when I first started, I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video every day until I get to one. 100 subscribers. That was my goal. Uh, and then I will slow down. But then I got to 100 subscribers, and I guess it's just become kind of a habit for me now. Yeah, but I, I might take a day off now and again. It could happen. Uh, so, But yeah, I'll have another video up tomorrow probably or the next day. So... I hope to see you then here at Stately Vaughn Manor. Thanks, guys.